Well, they must be very nice people. Yes, you're right, Chief. Oh, you did a beautiful job on him, Derek. Thank you, Anton. He did turn out rather well, didn't he? Uh -huh. <laughs> now. Now you sneer all you like, Derek. But believe me, in a few moments you're going to see Gorog walk. This is the man of the future. A creature of steel and wire and electronic circuits? <laughs> How can he think? He will think well enough. Now, watch. <laughs> Walk, Gorog, walk. Uh -huh. What did I tell you? He walks. Yes, and I tell you, he can't think. Look. Oh, stop. Gorog, stop. Oh, oh, oh my. Steel wires. Oh. Electronics. Oh, after all these weeks, I was so sure of success. Anton, I've told you and I've told you, you're just wasting your, your, your time. Perhaps if it had a human head. Anton, come with me. I want to show you something. All right, now you stay right here. Stay right here. My anthropoid is the answer, Anton. My cosmos. Isn't he magnificent? Savage. <laughs> Uncontrolled. The strength of ten men with one dominant instinct, to kill. To kill? But you'll be creating a monster. Oh, not if he has a human brain. Come here, Anton. My tests have indicated that the ideal brain to transfer to Cosmos, and one that will fit most snugly in his cranial cavity, lies somewhere between plus five and, uh, ooh, plus seven. No more. Oh, Derek, that's ridiculous. A creature with a brain that small wouldn't have sense enough to come in out of the rain. 